Hello, this is Dr. G. Rex Cruley, and I want to uh, explain for you what the six program is and why it's important. Now, there are 10 programs, and they run all human life, all er everything. What is the first program? That is past lives. Second program is genetic inheritance, genetic karma that extends back six generations on your dad's side and six generations back on your mother's side. The, what we think of as genetics and science only, only uh, accounts for 50%. Uh, all the rest it goes back. Now, the third program starts when your mom's egg is penetrated by dad's sperm, when you're conceived, goes through the womb. It includes the birthing process itself and the first six hours after you're born. That ends the third program, and the fourth program begins after the first six hours until the end of your first six years of life. Then the fifth program begins when the frontal cortex of your brain, which I call the educated brain, activates at the age of seven until whatever age you find yourself now. The sixth program, the topic of this video, is the global collective. The seventh program is the great solar program. That's the realm of astrology and numerology. Eighth program is the galactic program. The Mahurta was a 12 hour special period. That was a galactic event. And then the ninth program is the universal program. And the 10th program is a separate category referred to as the other realms. That's where the heavens, hell, everything is lives there. It's a separate, uh, entirely separate division. So we are talking here about the sixth program, the global collective. What is that? It's a morphic field. It's the biggest. And it's comprised of millions and millions and millions of morphic fields. And it includes all humanity, all human beings, as well as all animals, all plants, all forms of life. In other words, Mother Earth, which is a conscious being, herself. All of that together is the sixth program. How does it operate? In the same way the whole universe operates. Whatever morphic field has the strongest energy, the strongest signal, and the, and the largest number, the largest number. That is what the universe or the, or the program is going to uh, create. That's going to be the result. So it's like, uh, it's like voting. If uh, 10 people uh, out of 12 people, if 10 are voting uh, no and two vote yes, the two lose. Uh, the whole universe functions that way. So the global collective right now, if you look at events, if you look at the wars, if you look at Mother Nature, uh, which is in the throes of the six mass extinction. If you look at uh, 5G, if you look at uh, the pandemics and you, you look up in the sky and you see the whole sky covered in chemtrail, you can easily start to understand that there is a great deal of darkness, anger, separation, prejudice, everywhere. Now, luckily, dotted all throughout that, there are pockets of people like us that are with the light, that are with the divine, that are working for love to help humanity, 
to establish peace and compassion. But please do not be misinformed. We are not the majority. What we have, though, is a higher vibration. Remember that the ugliness is a low vibration, like fear. That's why they had to make the pandemic. It's all fear-based. But if you notice, they were able to unite the entire world in a matter of days using that frequency. Why? Because the subconscious minds of all of humanity has already been pre-programmed for many, many, many decades. Once it's programmed, the brain and mind was just like a computer. You simply hit the switch and the program plays. So you just say the name of a virus, you say the uh, vaccine or whatever is, is a cure, and everybody and everything just complies. Everything that's brainwashed or programmed, they just comply, and they did. And uh, I, I'm not going to go into all the all the people that have died because of that and all the people who are dying right now because of that. What I'm going to tell you is the sixth program needs our help. So during the full moon seva ceremony, what are we doing? From the sixth program up, each one of those programs is greater than us. From the fifth program down, it's us. But from the sixth up, it's not us. It's morphic fields and collectives. That requires direct divine intervention. Absolute direct divine intervention. Anybody that tells you different is deluded. Now, what we are doing is we're, first we're harnessing the uh, solar power of the moon at that time. That's one. Two, we are harnessing the direct connection and support of the great compassionate light. That's my job. And three, we are all coming together as a unified group, an, an actual unified collective with a common purpose backed by the divine, supported and magnified by the power of the moon. Therefore, we as a group during the full moon seva ceremonies we have influence. We have functional power. That's why we are trying so strongly to call back everybody that attended and tried to meet, reach me during the Mahurta. There was over 18,000 on January the 15th to try to reach me. That's some kind of a karmic uh, family for me. And what I'm asking you to do is to go out and recruit and tell everybody the sevas are free. Seva means service. It's a service. And I'm doing it dedicated to Sri Amma Bhagavan, the avatars that created the movement and the noble purpose of the 81,000 which is to save the planet and save humanity by raising consciousness, not by some military movement or anything like that. It's by consciousness. Because with consciousness, you can rise above uh, things uh, very strongly. Why, that's why depth healing works. I, I use consciousness operating in the causal field, and that's why it's so powerful and effective. 
And remember, none of that has anything to do with me. I'm, I'm a, I want you to re always remember I am a channel and that's all I am. The, the good news is I'm a very strong, clear channel. I'm conditioned that way. I'm empowered that way. That is the real deal. So does that make sense? What we have to do to save this planet from nuclear war, from mass destruction, from pandemics, from natural calamities, from man-made calamities, what we need, what we have to do is appeal in numbers, in mass, to the divine, work with the divine, and, and come together to imprint that big global field that it's, uh, the vote is for the positive. So remember I gave you the example, 12 people, two vote, two vote yes, 10 vote no. What we want to do, so think of that as the global collective, and what we want to do is have at least six to uh, six to four. If the if the dark side, the ugly side, the negative side is a four, we need six to save the world and the planet. Kali Yuga <clears throat> is winding down now. Bhagavan has said that it won't stop fully until the human population is sufficiently reduced. And that is going on very strongly. I know because I'm on the front lines as a doctor. So what we want to do is at least get a six to four in favor so the universe gives us that answer. This is serious work. The full moon seva ceremonies is a big, very important, very powerful, very significant ceremony. Please spread the word everywhere. Invite everybody. It's free. They go to the website, they, and all they do is log on. That's all. You just log on. <clears throat> Remember that my privates, the depth healing privates, what that does is removes uh, internal blocks in all of us that puts up a wall, a mental uh, invisible barrier between us and receiving grace. An example is guilt. If you have uh, levels of self guilt, it, it, puts up an, an actual barrier between you and your own divine. That's why the depth healing privates are so important. Because every time you see me, the veil between you and direct grace from the divine is uh, thin down, thin down, reduce, reduce, reduce. It all depends on, wh on what you got going on inside you or what I got going on inside me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's the most important work you'll ever do. It's the most important, because wherever you go, even when the, when the moment comes and you got to die, the only person you have is who you are, what you have become, and what your essence is. Not how much money you made or the size of the house you live in, or how many cars you have, or any of that stuff. That that's that's all just for play, and you enjoy the play. I enjoy mine, but don't don't ever misjudge the uh, importance of it. This kind of work is what's important. Now we're all here on Earth right now, uh, specifically for this. That's why we we weren't born a hundred years ago, or two hundred years or a thousand years ago. We're here now. 
I was born in 1956 to be talking to you right now. And the world needs us, all of us. The more there are, the more power there is, the bigger our voice. I hope that helps. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.